Hey, this is Jim Edwards, and the title of today's video is Three Reasons Why Many Sites Are Dead. Now, what are the three reasons why people keep saying many sites are dead? Well, number one, Google doesn't like them anymore. Number two, Google will slap you if you do many sites. And number three is people won't read long sales copy and they won't pay attention to many sites. Well, none of those three reasons are true because, for example, a lot of people are using many sites to convert people into buyers, into subscribers, and getting them to click affiliate links. It's also not true that Google will slap you if you use many site because I can tell you that I just set up a brand new campaign in Google yesterday with a mini site and I got quality scores of seven across the board. Now, some other reasons why many sites are not dead. People are busy. They need information really, really fast. They don't want to spend two hours trying to figure out if what you have is what they're interested in. They want to do it in the matter of a couple of minutes. Also, there are a whole lot of new conversion tools that you can use on many sites, especially video. Video allows you to give people more information in less time, and it also helps you hit the highlights fast. Let me tell you something. Despite what all the naysayers say, despite what anybody will ever tell you, you can take this one into the bank. Direct response advertising, which is having your advertising piece do all of the selling for you. Direct response advertising techniques will never go away. They may change form, but those techniques and principles of grabbing people's attention, gaining their interest, building their desire, and driving them to action, which is the basic technique, the basic premise, the basic formula for direct response advertising, will never ever go away. And on the web, it comes down to getting people to do one of three things. Get them to subscribe, get them to buy, or get them to click. Those are the three things that you can get somebody to do. Now, you can also, there's a fourth thing that's come about though, and that is interaction, social interaction. And that's an interesting dynamic that I'm learning more about, and so are you. But when it comes right down to it, if you wanna add that fourth thing, then those are the only four things you can get somebody to do. Subscribe, buy, click, or interact, either with a survey or interact with some sort of social media. But what I will say is this, maybe it's time for a new name. Everybody somehow has associated mini site with, in a lot of cases, I'll, I'll be really honest with you, they've associated with low quality, hard sell, selling crappy stuff. Maybe it's time for a new name. Maybe it's time for a new concept. Maybe it's time for direct response advertising to marry up with social in, in, interaction. And maybe it's time to start calling those conversation pages instead of mini sites. Because think about it, what's a conversation? A conversation is a directed discussion that's targeted on a certain topic. When you have a conversation with somebody, it's usually on a specific topic. And since people are so interested in interaction, maybe it's time instead of trying to hammer them and sell them and push it to them, maybe it's time for us to just start having a conversation with our customers and use that conversation to help them make decisions that help out both of us. So I'd be curious to know your thoughts. What do you think of the concept of a conversation page? And what do you think about that when it comes to the concept of mini sites and direct response advertising? Very curious what you think. Maybe it's time to put the people back into direct response marketing. So I'm Jim Edwards. Have a great day.